Hi, I'm Donna Marie, and you're watching the Corvette Channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott, and today I'm just going to be talking to you about our upcoming car show. There's been a lot of questions out there um, as far as where we're going to do it, where it's going to be, where you go, what you do, all that type of stuff as far as schedule of events. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post that up here on the screen so you can see that. I have posted this on about 170 Facebook groups as well as on our site, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right here. Now, um, the whole one of the purposes of this is to tell you a little story that you cannot make up, trust me, about what happened to my car yesterday. So today is August 24th. It's a Wednesday just before our show is going to start. Um, and I'm at home right this second, but yesterday I was invited by Fox 40 Television to be able to go and talk about our show there at their studio. And when I was pulling into the parking lot, uh, and there was a few of us, John and, and Herb and Dan uh, and myself, we were, we were pulling into the parking lot and I came in the, the standard, you know, I've got a low spoiler. I came in at standard 45 degrees at three or four miles an hour. And just so happened there was a, the, the road where the curb and the, um, what am I trying to say? The, the parking lot, actually, it was a spot about 12, 18 inches long, somewhere in that ballpark that was lifted up about so high. And I didn't see it. And it caught this lower spoiler about right here. I think you guys can see where I'm pointing. It literally tore it off. It was hanging down and, you know, if you can imagine, to my disbelief and it just made me sick that here I'm going to be doing and featuring my car and this is what happened. So uh, I have the uh, I have the clip from Fox 40 and they uh, between how we parked it and their wonderful editing um, it went through really really well and you can't even tell that the car was damaged. But um, so I'm going to put that in this video here in the, in the end so you can take a look at it. But what I want you guys to know is that tomorrow is the meet and greet, which is the 25th, okay? That's on Thursday. That's uh, it's going to be at the Silver State Pavilion at the Grand Sierra Hotel, and um, that's at 4 to 7. So if you've already pre-registered and you want to get your goodie bag ahead of time, hey, just come on in. We'll get you all set up, get your lanyard for your poker run if you've signed up for your poker run. and. Um, if not, you you haven't already registered, you can come in then too. So it, it's up to you what you'd like to do. Now, as far as Friday goes, we're gonna be opening the doors probably around nine. Uh, so again, Silver State Pavilion is where we're gonna be doing it. So if you have not registered for the poker run, you're getting there late, whatever it may be, um, be sure and come in. We'll be having a, um, we'll be having a uh, driver meeting at 10 a.m. And then I will be sending you guys out. All the poker run drivers will be getting their very first card as they leave. Okay, they'll be we'll be sending them out at 11 o'clock. That run will take you over to Summit Racing, and then they're in in Sparks, and then it will take you up to uh, Virginia City. You're not going to actually stop in Virginia City unless you want to. Um, but the next stop is in Mound House which is down by uh, Carson City, and that's going to be going to American Auto Body. And uh, most of these places are going to have something for you guys to drink, so you guys have a little refreshments, okay? Now, there is a church parking lot. There is right next to All American Auto Body, so American Auto Body's parking is very small, so the church right next door is a perfect spot for park, and so you guys can park there. The next stop after that is going to be the Nevada Railroad Museum in Carson City, Nevada. Uh, Jennifer and I, we toured it a couple weeks ago when we were doing a dry run for the poker run. They are awesome people. It's very inexpensive. It's only, I think, $8 to get in. And it has a lot of history. And they got some really nice trains there. So um, I'm giving you guys from 11 to 4 o'clock 
to make a 90 mile journey. So you've got plenty of time to stop and do whatever you guys want to do. You just have to be back, back to the Grand Sierra, the Silver State Pavilion by four. So with that said, after you uh, get done with uh, Nevada Railroad Museum, then you're going to come back to Reno and you're going to go to a uh, go to a shop, a high performance shop. It's called Herbert Performance, and they will have most likely they're going to have a bunch of cars out there on display, as well as probably some motors and things that they do. Um, so they're uh, they're a very high end shop. They do great work. They've given me a tour of the whole place. And you, if you need any machine work done, anything with motor, okay, um, they've got one of those one of those dynos that you actually bolt the motor onto it to get the true, true horsepower. So they've got one of those. So uh, be sure uh, that you say hi to Eric and his staff down there. So after that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to come back over to the GSR, and then you will be getting your last card, which will be your sixth card. So uh, obviously that will give you an option to discard a card, okay? So each one, I don't have the lanyard with me, I've already set them up on a semi up there, um, but uh, each one of you will get a, uh, each one of the, the registries for the car will get a lanyard, and you have to present that lanyard to the location of where you're going to get your poker card, okay? So anyway, uh, that is about it as far as that goes. Now we will have a wash station. Um, I will supply the wash mitts, the, uh, the, the buckets, the water of course, and, and uh, you just need to bring your own towels and, and your, own, uh, your own arm power to be able to wash your car. Uh, then we'll also, on Friday, if you have decided that you want to be inside because we are doing this inside and outside. So if you want to pre-stage your car inside for the Saturday show, then around three o'clock we'll be opening the doors. And so as people are coming back from the poker run, they're going to be able to bring the car in and stage it. Okay, so once it's in the show, once it's indoors, you're not going to be able to remove it Friday. It will have to stay there overnight and be ready for Saturday. We can't have it having cars jockeying in and out all the time. So we also have the parking, there's two parking lots that we have available to us that are being roped off as of yesterday, I think it is. And, um, and that is right adjoining, right outside the door. So you'll still be able to enjoy the music and everything that's going on. So um, not, not a problem there. Um, <clears throat> so as you know, it's a Camaro and Corvette uh, invasion. And so what we're doing is we're gonna have many, many judges so we can make sure that we get this done. We currently have, I believe, a little, pretty close to 90 prizes that are totaling right around $8,000. So uh, be sure and bring your money for your raffle tickets um, and uh, we'll, we'll be able to get you going. This is, um, the proceeds of this show are a large portion. We wanna be able to pay our debt back, but a large portion of the uh, of the profit that goes to this show is going to go to Eddie House, which is a it's a nonprofit uh, organization that takes care of uh, teenagers that have been displaced for whatever reason. Um, they supply housing for them. They supply clothing, doctors, haircuts, all these wonderful things. And Jennifer and I we we uh, went and saw that. We took a tour, and it is a beautiful beautiful facility um, and the kids there they I mean it looks like they're really thriving it looks like they're doing a great job of giving them life skills they've got a humongous big uh, like kitchen to teach them how to cook um, you know it, it's just a really nice environment and everyone seems to be very happy there so um, even if they're if you're older I was speaking to them and this even if you're older and you're not really in their window of what you what you need or if you're younger, right, because there's a bunch of them that are displaced that are way younger. They will work with the other, other um, uh, nonprofits or, um, you know, or the authorities, whatever it may be, to get them settled. They don't want them on the street. They're going to try to help them and get them taken care of. So, like I said, it was, it was a great thing. This money is really, I mean, you can tell, the money is really being put back into their facility and their program. It's not you know, the, the people running it aren't getting rich, okay? 
So anyway, I, they're going to be there at the show. So be sure and, and uh, you know, if you, you have a few extra dollars you want to donate, go for it. But like I said, this is really going to help uh, help them. And uh, they're, so they're, they've decided to come and be part of festivities. We are also going to have some uh, other vendors. Uh, we've got some, some people that are local as well as some people coming from uh, basically the Bay Area for various different things, uh, detail stuff and you know t-shirts and hats and all that type of stuff. So there'll be plenty of stuff for you guys to do. This is on the lower level of GSR. So um, there's, for those, uh, those of you that want to go get your nails done, get your hair done, that type of stuff, there's, a, there's all that there. There's a bowling alley there, there's everything you can imagine. So, so with, uh, if you're planning on being there for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there is plenty to do, trust me. Um, so we're gonna have uh, music on Thursday as well as Friday, and then we'll have a DJ on, on Saturday and we'll have uh, food vendors and drink vendors there so um, we're trying to cover everything that we can possibly imagine we have a total of 69 trophies i know people go wow scott that's a lot of trophies well yeah it is only because i'm kind of putting my money where my mouth is so it, i don't know how many of you guys have put uh, put on a car show or you've gone to a car show and they maybe have three trophies or they only do first place or they only do first and second place and they group all the old cars to the new cars and then the new car rolls in it's all shiny new and they win right that it's not fair for somebody that's had a car for a long time and they put it all together and and now you know this brand new car that just got bought it wins there's room for that, trust me, and I've got trophies for that. But I also have them all the way back. So if you had a 1953 Corvette that's been bone stock, you've never done anything to it, there's a trophy for that. If you've got a, you got a 2023 Corvette that you haven't done absolutely anything to it, but you have babied it and washed it and taken care of it, right? There's something for you for there. But then there's also all the trophies for all the best stuff, right? All the, all the stuff that you work hard for, the best engine, best wheels, you know, all those types of things, they're all being recognized at this show, right? And this isn't just for Corvette, it's for Camaro. So Corvettes and Camaros are being judged completely separately. They are in their own categories, and um, that way you guys are not fighting amongst each other. The only trophies that really is the specialty awards for like best engine, uh, the best of show, things like that, okay? So Meta Motorsports is our sponsor. They are, um, they have been nice enough to uh, take care of the, um, the best of show trophy for us. And um, so with that, they are having their own judge judge the best of show. So I've picked all the other judges I am not a judge, guys, so I will oversee it, but I am not a judge. And our cars, Jennifer, mine, John's, the cars are gonna be there. They're gonna be on display only. They are not being judged. So um, we're not walking away with our own trophies, okay, guys? So I just wanted you to know that. Um, so there's, uh, I think that has pretty much covered it all. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free. I'm going to put my information up there. Now, this, like I said, this is Wednesday. I'm going to be leaving to go to GSR uh, Wednesday after or this afternoon. Uh, so I will be up there and getting everything going. Jennifer and I will be up there getting everything going on Thursday. Um, so um, anyway, if there's anything that you guys need, be sure and give me a call. If, and I'm going to put that information up on the screen as well as my email so you can call, you can text, you can email and if for whatever reason I don't answer, be sure and leave a message and I will return the call to get you taken care of. Okay. So I really hope to see you guys here. We've had a wonderful turnout as far as registration is concerned but we have the room because GSR has been kind enough to give us the extra space. We have the room to accommodate about 200 maybe a little over 200 cars. So we're expecting to see about 150 and two to 200 cars at this show. So um, I think we have covered every base. 
I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. There's probably something that we missed, and if we did, politely come up and talk to one of our staff members. We will have a lanyard on that says staff, and it'll have our name, and we will uh, we'll try to accommodate whatever it is. Um, putting on a show like this, it's hard. Um, from the vendors to making sure that all of you guys are taken care of, that we've thought about every last little detail, and I bet you we're gonna slip up, right? I, I mean, who knows? But I, I think right now, going into it, I think we're gonna be okay. I've got, I think I've, I've gone over it so many times in my head, I can't believe it. But we've been planning this since, since October of last year, and um, I really think it's gonna be a great show. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. When you guys are there, please do me a favor. I know a lot of you guys are subscribers. Please at least stop me. You're gonna see me run around like a chicken with my head cut off, but that's okay. Stop me, say, hey, Scott, I just wanted to stop and say hi. I would really appreciate that. I really, I really do. Um, so um, be sure and you know, say, say hi to the staff. Thank them for doing what they're doing. We really appreciate it, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys now, and I'm gonna leave you with the video from Fox 40 that shows all four cars that we had there at the studio and how well they did a, such a good editing job that you can't even tell that that whole side of my splitter was gone, okay? So anyway, and by the way, this is proof to what we can do at our shop. I happened to, did have the splitter, an, an additional splitter in stock, which was, thank God I had it because the other one was so tore up. And I'll throw a couple video, a couple pictures up there so you can see it. But uh, I just happened to have it. And I had the paint in stock. And so I was able to take it all apart, repair the bumper, and um, and get it all taken care of. So anyway, uh, that's that's what we can do if need be in a shop. We are less than... We pulled this in the shop yesterday about 2.30 and it was painted, it was already repaired and painted and redone at nine. I let it dry, got up this morning and bolted it on. So um, she's ready to go. That's how determined I was to make sure this car made it to the shop. So guys, thank you guys again for watching. I'm gonna leave you with that video. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads and you'll also get notified when I go live at the show this weekend, all right? Guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. It's to see all the Corvettes. Here we are, everybody. Good to see you. This is so neat. I love what's going on. You know me, anytime there's gonna be cars on our back lot. It's like your dream. Especially Corvettes, because they're so beautiful. All right, we got Scott, we got Herb, and then we got John. All right, Scott, Herb, John, kind of like in, in this order here. Corvette Channel, you created it. Why? What is this? I never heard of it. Well, it, it started out as just a Facebook group to help people, and then it morphed into uh, YouTube, and then I started helping them, uh, helping people show how to do the mods on their cars. Wow. And it got to the point where they needed, uh, they, they wanted to hire me to do it. Right. Instead of them doing the work. And I volunteered on one video, <laughs> and I've been, been been busy ever since. So I turned it into a business. Right. You're, well, yeah. good for you. Well, watch out what you, what you ask for. It's kind of the, exactly, right? exactly. All right. It sounded like Herb. You were giving Herb some uh, some shout out there because he was also a lot of people are always involved in making these things successful, right? Oh, it yes. takes it takes a good idea, but it takes a lot of work. Right. Exactly. And uh, you know, Herb has been a. Uh, a proponent for me big time on this and he, t he tells everybody I've done so much work to his car uh, I mean there's probably not anything I haven't touched on well, his car. Look at you can and, see his uh, car. Yeah, yeah look at that. And, um, and so we've uh, we, we've done all that and then uh, uh, John has helped me along the way uh, you, they'll probably show you the car to show amazing. John's car here in a minute um, but he helps me with with it uh, we also have another gentleman that helps me all the time his name's Terry uh, but he's not here today uh, but uh, we just have a good time with it. John has gotten stuck having to be the cameraman a lot of times. <laughs> right. Um, and we actually do videos that are a little bit different. We don't, we don't just go, okay, if you watch YouTube, there's a lot of guys that we're going to do this today. And right. then all of a sudden it's boom, we're yeah. done. Right. We actually do it where you can actually take your laptop out to the car. Okay. And you can go turn by turn by turn. Wow. And that's helpful. And yeah, that's what yeah, we need. Absolutely. Somebody like me too. I need to do yeah. exactly need what that. you're doing. All right. So uh, Herb, Johnny, both of you guys. Uh, you know, we're looking at some cars now. We're looking at another one too. They're all kind of a little bit different. But you, you do 
you actually host on, on the channel as well, too. You host part of the, some, some of the shows here? Oh, no, I let, no. That, I let him handle all that. He does the MCs in our car show. <laughs> so, it just MCs the car show. Yeah, so, our, yeah. so, so, he does all that, too. So, yeah. but when you found this channel, I mean, you had, you had to flip out being a Corvette guy, huh? Yes, I did. Uh, my car was a mess. I'm okay. being honest with you. And many people kept telling me, you got to go here, you got to go here, there. But when I ran into Scott Maxwell of the Corvette channel, best move I ever made in my life. How about that? Wow. How long have you had your vet? Uh, I had this one for about three years. I didn't have 14 vets in my life. Nice. 14 <laughs> vets. Yeah. There you go. And, and John, which one Which one in this beautiful group is, is yours? The one with the military. All right. So tell I was uh, I'm so intrigued. I mean, I've obviously Gorgeous. never seen anything like that. How? Uh, well, tell us the story behind that one. Well, I'm a military vet. I was born in Germany on base. And, and so I wanted to pay back to the community the best I could. So that's a tribute to the uh, military. But if you look on this side, it's in, in black and white represent the old guard oh, on the other side yeah, yeah, in color to represent the new around. guard oh, yeah. so we got all branches you got the army and then the marines on this side the other side's air force and the navy well thank you for your service too and what a great way to honor those that and i saw one of it you don't have to wait for a holiday uh to honor our veterans that's a tribute to preston sharp out of reading um, PrestonSharp.net if you want to check him out but he uh raises money for flags and flowers and puts them on the cemeteries every year uh, not just Every year, I mean, it's it's like monthly almost. Sure, sure. Scott, how, how much does it cost to put on a show like this? It's a big show that's going to be in Reno. So yeah, big, big yeah, money, a lot of it, like time it, too. Huh? It is, yeah. It's a lot of work. We started planning this, uh, God, what October of last year. Yes. Um, we're expecting around 200 cars, um, and it's going to be an indoor and outdoor show. So, uh, cool. the, but the the Silver State Pavilion, which handles, it'll handle 150 cars. We already knew uh, from our our uh, registrations that we were going to blow through that. Wow. So we went ahead and they opened it up for us to be able to do it in the parking lot area also. Uh, so they, as a matter of fact, they started roping that all off yesterday. There you go. Yeah, so You're busting at the seams oh, already. Absolutely. We've already sent a semi up with all of the all the prizes. Fantastic. Eight thousand dollars of the prizes that are going into this. Got to ask awesome. you this: uh, How do people, if I if they're hearing about it now, they want to go out and check it out? What's the best way to do that? Okay. Well, the best thing to do is to go on to the website. Go to www. Corvette Camaro. Uh, invasionreno.com and that is that's the, uh, the Corvette Camaro uh, invasion sponsored by uh, Meta Chevrolet and Meta Motorworks oh. so yeah they'll they'll be able to uh, help you guys um, but there's a registration on there so that you can do the poker run that's on Friday there's so many cool things to yeah. do yeah and uh, that's gonna take you all the way around up through Carson City Virginia City and then back into Reno and there's some cash prizes for the top three cool. guys that are going to if, if Gary wants in the middle of the drive with all the cars lined up and is like 1978 Dodge, is that okay? Can he just get in and no one <laughs> slide in there? Slide in there. Well, we might. We'll, we'll find him a spot over in the regular parking the area. Right. Right. Yeah. But he's, but you're welcome to come in and, and visit for free. I yeah. love that. Well, yeah. all right, Corvette Camaro Western Invasion, right? Corvette, so, but Camaro we Western only invasion. see Corvettes here, but Camaros are they're Camaros cool. Also. So you guys are yes. cool with that? Yeah, oh yes, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. they're uh, yeah. they're. I mean, it's. They're brother cars, yeah. right? So, yeah, and a lot of them actually have the exact same engines. Yeah. So um, that's awesome. Yeah, because yeah, they're close. Yeah. I had a Camaro. I had a '79 Z28 Camaro. Look at, some at him point. go! You see what I'm saying? There you go. Hey, there everybody, go. wave up there. They're no, looking at here. us from up top. Hey, hey, hey there we go. There. Uh, there you see the Thank Corvette channel. Right, Good job, you. guys. Way to go! Uh, all the information you need, August 25th through the 27th in Reno. Quick little drive up the hill, up the slope. CorvetteChannel.com for a little more information. It's a fast drive when you're rolling into Corvette. No, kidding. you get up there like a half an hour. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Corvette Channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.